Sometimes we have to look back at ourselves and realize there is a chance we've made a mistake. A portion of this episode is sponsored by Pia VPN. Head to the link in the description and stay tuned for more. There you are. Welcome back. Well, okay. We had a video not that long ago where we talked about prints from the Project R3D Daedalus. We started the episode with like, this thing prints great. And then we're like, now it's not. And we tried to fix it using a brand new 0.9 degree stepper from LDO Motors. I thought it had fixed the issue at hand, but apparently a plethora of people within the comments thought that they could still see the issue, albeit reduced. So now I'm willing to look back at this because A, I mean, I'm old and I have terrible glasses and I've had cataract surgery in both eyes. So it's, there is a chance that I am not seeing things as well as I should. I fully admit that. Plus, during that episode, we didn't break out this. What's this? This is a Canon C70. And we had it off to the side and we had a decent lens on it. But this is a 60 millimeter macro lens and it lets us get phenomenally close. For example, here are two cubes that we showed during the episode. And I thought we got pretty close. But here, watch this. If I do this, nice and close, you can see that the square on the right has issues and the square on the left does not <laughs> square. It's a cube. It's three dimensions. So I think that's what we need to do. I think we need to utilize technology that allows us to take a look closer and see if we can't drill down on the prints of these Daft Punk fellows and, and see if either, either the commenters were wrong or if I'm wrong. I am more than happy to admit if I'm wrong when shown Better evidence, I think, is the way we do that. So let's just set these aside. First though, one of the things we talked about in that episode was a previous episode where the Project R3D Daedalus produced phenomenal prints. Lots of people watched it. It's a great episode. One of the things we showed off was this mug. It's awesome. And I thought it did a fantastic job, but I didn't put it under a macro lens and well, I think we should. Obviously, this is printed in a color changing, slightly sparkly filament, which is going to hide some of the layer inconsistencies. But if we, if we kind of move this around, I don't think we are seeing any evidence of the problems that were shown on the Daft Punk figures. Let's see if I can't uh, approach it at an angle. Oh, have a look. Right there. Oh my goodness. We're on the path to discovery, aren't we? That looks to be an issue, but it is not that visible. And again, it could be because of the filament. But I mean, I, I think this looks rad. I think this looks good. The internet has me second guessing myself. I can't tell. I can't tell. The multiple colors and the slightly glittery filament is really making it difficult. So why don't we just stick with what we have and go with these Daft Punk fellows. Okay, this is one of the ones, uh, the first ones. This is one of the ones that is uh, awful. You can kind of see the layer inconsistencies right there. You can see a repeating pattern. I can see it right there. I can see it. Let's see if we can't get that to show just a little bit more. Oh, 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 there it is. Look at that. Jeez. That is definitely a repeating pattern, and that is definitely the problem that we showcased in that previous video. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we take the ones where I said, hey, it looks better, let's take this one, one of these right here. In fact, I've already got one without the supports, remember? Let's take a look. <clears throat> this was the one printed with the black filament to kind of showcase it a little bit more. There we go. Oh, look at that. You can see it, it's clear as day. Gee, many Christmas. Look at that, it's almost like a mummified version of Daft Punk, like a mummy. Sweet, macro lens coming in handy, and obviously this is gonna be added to all future workflows because my goodness. So now, using this lens, what we're gonna do is get nice and close to this printed figure, and we're gonna hold it in a similar fashion to that guy and that guy. And what we're gonna do is see if the repeating pattern exists 
if it is mitigated or lessened or if it's not there and it's just random inconsistencies from a non-tuned profile on a new filament. Here we go. This is exciting. So it looks like there is a repeating pattern. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. Oh. Stupid glasses. So it looks like there is a constant problem within a certain number of layers. Well, here's what we can do. Oops, why don't we just hold them side by side? Let's see what happens. Okay, like this, you can see the repeating pattern in that one. And if you go over here, I don't see it. I don't see it. So now what we need to do is hold these at a certain angle so the light hits it a specific way. Ha ha! Oh, geez. So if I'm looking at this correctly, it looks like there is still a repeating pattern, but it's different. <laughs> well, shoot. <laughs> I was excited. I thought swapping out that motor took care of things and we were set to <clears throat> print all, all the, the things. things. Dang it. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was wrong. <laughs> so obviously when we recorded that previous video, and I was looking at the models, I could have, it could have been a number of factors that caused me to not see this. But what I'm thankful for is my audience, obviously, uh, keeping me honest and making sure I'm seeing the details every time. But in this case, it looked like I had to utilize a different lens to see closer and to utilize a different angle so that the light fell on the layers in a way that made it more visible. We'll just have to remember that for uh, prints and things going forward. But where does this leave us on the Daedalus at this point? Because it's not fixed. Well, uh, for starters, I have reached out to Joe over at Project R3D. In, in fact, before I even reached out to him, he sent me a tweet, a, a, a DM, and he said, hey, great job on that video. If you need any help further troubleshooting, I'm all ears. I will help you out. Thanks, Joe. Joe also let me know that there are new couplers being sent out for the Daedalus machines. Mine are these, these plastic bits that kind of interlock like this. And what's being sent is more like a, what is it, a disc coupler? Something like that? There it is. <laughs> there we go, a disc type coupler. That's going to be what is upgraded on the Daedalus machine. And that's handy too. I'm glad Joe is doing that. It looks like He's not necessarily doing this because of my problems, but just to bring the Daedalus to a higher quality bar. That's sweet. It looks like we don't have a single video here, but we're gonna have a series on things that need to happen to the Daedalus from these upgrades and then continual print quality checks. First of all, thank you for keeping me honest. I'm always willing to go back and take a look at previous things if the models still exist or if there's new technology or better technology that can see these things. Now we're going to really raise the bar for quality and make sure we can check it. I don't know, I'll put the new couplers on, we'll run the same G-code and we'll be able to compare it again. PVPN is sponsoring this episode and it's really cool because I actually use the service. I've used it for years before they approached me to advertise. Private internet access is the world leading no log VPN service with over 30 million paying customers. They've been around since 2010. Plus, they've got thousands of servers in dozens of countries. PFVPN has dedicated applications for Windows, Mac, iOS, Linux, even the Amazon Fire Stick. You can support up to 10 simultaneous connections. Plus, they allow payment in Bitcoin, PayPal, gift card, really anyway. Pia VPN also has a kill switch, killing off your internet if your VPN connection goes down for any reason. Plus, just to reiterate, it is a no log service. They're not gonna track you and using this service will keep others from knowing where you're at. To get started with private internet access, use the link on screen or down in the description. Oh well, and just like that, we've added a new item to our workflow and we'll always have some sort of macro shots available of models that are printed just so that we can take a closer look and make sure the layers are stacking on top of each other as they're supposed to be. Well, in the end, I think it's important to always take a step back and realize that 
your answer may not be correct. I just know that I've got more work to do and it's because of you all watching and commenting. So I really appreciate that. Leave a comment down below if you got further ideas for me if you or want to see more stuff with the Daedalus. I'm excited to get that, that battle station fully operational. Maybe I should call it Death Star. That makes sense, right? If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. And as always, high five. Missed it. Just missed it. Just missed it.